I wanted to come on and share with you a quick bonus that I've added for confidence with QuickBooks. And I wanted to share with you, how would you even know if you have mistakes in your QuickBooks? So the new bonus that we've added is the cleanup bonus workshop. And I want to talk to you, let's actually jump in to QuickBooks on the ground a little bit so you know if you actually have some of these mistakes. Let's jump in to a desktop first. How do you know? Let's start here. How do you know if you have old errors in your QuickBooks that are mistakes? If you're not using a check and balance system, you don't know. What I want to share with you is how you can actually check that. When you go to, your bank sends it to you typically. Let me grab this real quick, sorry. Making a little bit of noise. One second. So typically your bank will send you a reconciliation every single month for your bank accounts and your credit cards. This is what's called a check and balance system. Between taking this paper statement and then coming into your QuickBooks, whether you're desktop or online, and actually clicking reconcile, and then going in here and entering in your data, this is what you're doing to make sure. So when you come in here, you'll notice, let me know in the comments below, do you do this on a regular basis? Do you go in and check your bank accounts and your credit cards every single month to make sure that what you entered into QuickBooks is accurate? If you're not doing this, there's no way to know. So what these are is it's going in and it's hitter entering. You're looking for like old transactions, very old, beyond the year that you're currently in. So the benefit of doing this going in and reconciling is it's the one way to know you enter your transactions in accurately, but it also lets you know that you didn't miss anything. Okay. And the goal is if you find old stuff in there that you're like, I don't need this thing from 2019, you can go in and you can start cleaning it up because when you have either checks or deposits in there twice, or they're old in an error, it's going to impact your profit and loss, right? So you want to make sure you're doing that. If you are an online user, let me show you what your QuickBooks looks like. So you're going to go in here and you're going to want to be reconciling as well. Let me move a couple things out of the way. So you're going to go under accounting. There's a couple different ways to do it. So you're going to go under accounting, reconcile. You're going to be making sure that you do your reconciliations every single month for both bank accounts and credit cards even if you're using bank feeds, right? So often people come into cost QuickBooks, they're like, why didn't somebody tell me I needed to reconcile this? Well, that's because most tax professionals think you know it, okay? So you come in here and you say, are these transactions old or are they current? And so at the end of every month, the stuff that's left over that you didn't check off is typically errors or mistakes unless you're actually waiting for it to clear. Does that make sense? Let me know as well. So even if you're using bank feeds in your QuickBooks, there's no way to guarantee that you're entering in properly without checking it, okay? So those are the kinds of things I'm gonna be teaching you in this bonus workshop. So it's gonna be covering like payroll checks that are old. If you have, like, do you owe those people money or not? Like what's going on, right? And if you do have old, what we call stale checks, do you need to be giving them over to the state? There's all these rules that I share with you inside of the bonus workshop. So let me know if you're here live. Does that make sense? Do you have any questions? Um, Confidence or QuickBooks, if you don't know, is my training program that I put together with you in mind, where it takes you from how do you make sure you set up your QuickBooks properly so you don't have mistakes through entering in all of your income, entering in all of your expenses so you know exactly what's happening in your business, how do you put this check and balance system in place? And then once you've done all of that, you can actually start reading reports and preparing for your year end. There's other places to be checking as well. You're going to be checking your customer center, your vendor center to make sure you don't have any mistakes. So one thing I will tell you when you're looking at your bank account while we're in here, I'll look at this. You want to be checking also what we call undeposited funds, which sits over here. I'll actually show it to you. I think I'll show it to you on the QuickBooks desktop first. And the reason is, is because I want to explain how this works. So I often hear from QuickBooks users like, I don't understand why this number's here. These undeposited funds are showing. What is that? So let's, let's take a step back. There are three ways to enter your income in QuickBooks, right? You create an invoice and your customers pay you, or you get paid at the time of service, which is a sales receipt. And then it goes to this little account called undeposited funds, which 
typically people don't understand. So let's talk about it. Let me know if you've had problems with your undeposit funds. So what is undeposit funds? It's like a bank bag. Remember how you used to have deposit slips, cash and checks, and when you took it to the bank, right? Now we have more merchants and other things as well. But this account right here, there's undeposit funds. It sits in a little invisible account here for both desktop and online. But when you click record and you actually take it to the bank, this will populate. So if you have a lot of old errors in here, that means you've probably duplicated your income. You received a payment and then you didn't realize whether it's because you're using bank feeds or whatever, and you didn't see it as recorded because you didn't understand the software and you recorded it again. What happens when you do that? If you know, let me know in the chat. What happens if you enter both of those transactions? You end up duplicating your income. So when we come over here to our QuickBooks Online, and if you go to the plus and you click bank deposit, if you're wondering like, where is your undeposit funds? It's these payments up here at the top. So if you have a bunch of payments in here and you don't know what they are and you don't understand why they're there, it's because you didn't understand how to use the software, right? Whether you did invoices and receive payments or sales receipts, you're choosing when you do these, where do you want that payment to be applied? And the benefit of undeposited funds is actually a gift, something to be grateful for if you understand how to use it. It's that bank back so that when you go to reconcile the check and balance system, you're taking a lump sum of payments and applying it. Let me know if that helps you understand undeposited funds better. And do you have mistakes? Go back now and look, you can rewatch this if you need to look in your QuickBooks. Look in your reconciliation. If you've never done a reconciliation, it's definitely something you're going to do. And it's the fourth pillar that I teach in Psychoms QuickBooks. It's how do you make sure you have checks and balances in place? Okay. So go in and check your bank accounts to see if you have errors in your credit cards. And then also you want to be looking at your undeposited funds to make sure that the only thing that's sitting there in your bank bag is actually the things you need to record as a deposit. Let me know if that makes sense to you. So when you join confidence with QuickBooks before we close enrollment, because we have um, enrollment publicly open right now, you will get access to the bonus training where I teach you if you have those mistakes, how do you fix them? And you don't need to unreconcile all of your accounts to fix it either. So I just want to make sure that you know that because a lot of times people think, okay, I'll just unreconcile it. That's actually a waste of time. There's other ways to clean up your reconciliations instead, which I also teach you inside Confidence QuickBooks. If you want to find out more, you can go to confidencewithquickbooks.com and get all of the details. I will be doing a bonus Q&A tomorrow um, about the program and just answering questions. So if you aren't already getting the invites through email, you want to make sure that you do. Um, you can email me at support at canvascamper.com if you'd like to come to our training the Q&A and I will also put it here as well so you guys can come live and ask your questions. We'll be doing that through Zoom. So let me know. This is what you want to do. Go back and watch this and then check your QuickBooks to see if you have any errors. All right. Thank you for being part of my community. I will see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.